So, here's what happened so far. A hospital in Gaza was bombed, killing more than a thousand people, most of which are women and children. Moments later, the digital spokesperson of Israel, this piece of <laughs> declared it was a successful Israeli airstrike targeting some leaders of Hamas. A bit later, he deleted the tweet and tweeted that it was a Hamas misfire. At the same time, the Prime Minister of Israel in Netanyahu posted a horrific racist tweet saying that this is a struggle between the children of light and the children of darkness a struggle between humanity and the law of the jungle a bit later he also deleted that tweet after that israeli accounts started posting a video of a misfired rocket until it was verified to be an old video so they also deleted that after that the official account of israel on x posted a video claiming it's the evidence that it was a Hamas misfire. Moments later, it was shown to be false and they deleted it. After that, once again, the official account of Israel on X posted a video taken from Al Jazeera channel, showing it as an evidence that it was a Hamas misfire. And once again, you could easily see that the timing on that video is 18 59 whereas the actual incident happened at 1950 so it's once again a false claim at this point they were in too deep so they did not even bother to delete the post last of all israeli accounts have posted an intercepted phone call <laughs> claiming that it's between hamas leaders talking about the misfired rocket but if you ask any palestinian they will verify that it's a staged phone call because the accent on that phone call is a fake Gazan accent also the coordinates they were talking about on the phone call don't make sense if the rocket was fired from a place next to the hospital how can it possibly fall on the hospital itself i don't know how many lies they have to come up with to get out of this one in the beginning we have different sources saying it was actually an israeli airstrike and they were proud about it but once the media started being against israel now they are trying to stick it to hamas regardless of all the evidence we know very well that the rockets of hamas can never have an explosion this big and also you can compare the sound of the rocket falling with other israeli and hamas rockets and make a conclusion yourself which rocket has a similar sound to it Last of all, we know that Israel is the only entity capable of such terrorism. Their lies will not hold for too long, but we also know that they're gonna get away with it, with all the help they have from the international community. Maybe an investigation will be done, and six months later, we will have the result that it was actually an Israeli airstrike. But we know also that no one will do anything about it.